Hey, welcome to Meeple Mentor. I'm Jared, and today we're doing another unboxing video from a new Kickstarter just delivered. This one's called Canvas, and just look at the cover art to this thing. This is like a painting uh, that you would see in an art museum of some sort, and the reason for that, that it's called Canvas, is throughout the game, you'll get to actually make and customize your own artwork through the use of transparent cards and card sleeves. Um, so I just received this. I'm very excited. This was obviously a, a Kickstarter. And um, yeah, I think we should just dive right in. It came in with some uh, extra baggies worth of tokens. I'm guessing these are Kickstarter upgrades. So I think we'll go ahead and start by opening the main box and then we'll look further into this stuff. Um, I'm very excited about that. This is a uh, two to five player game, if I recall. So it says in Canvas, you are a painter competing in a prestigious art festival. Collect transparent cards and layer them to create paintings. Depending on which cards you choose and the order in which you place them, you will reveal or cover icons to earn ribbons. Each card combination creates a unique illustration and title for your painting. So uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think we'll just carefully open this up with my little knife here without ruining the box. All right. Uh, is this a... Okay, this slides forwards. Slides out like this. Huh, you don't often see, uh, you know, a box like that where you slide everything out. So I'm noticing first we've got a cloth piece here, and this is cloth. It's not uh, it's not neoprene um, as some other things uh, you might see. All right, so I'll just lay that right there. We have the card sleeves, which are going to be required in order to play this game. We have the transparent cards. We've got another deck of cards in a deck box here. And looks like the rules underneath. And of course we've got cardboard punch outs. Uh, we've got the, the ribbons in various colors and we've got the, the painting pieces here, um, color on one side. Um, and then I'm also seeing that the bottom of the box can be used uh, probably either to, you know, supplement playing the game or helps you put the game pieces away. Um, I'm not sure. This instruction manual, it feels like a, uh, a linen finish, like, like you can feel that. It's uh, similar to how it feels in like Tapestry or Wingspan uh, when you have those, those rule books. Um, and even the pages inside have that linen feel. Uh, it's just very sleek, and I like the presentation here. Um, the rulebook looks pretty straightforward. Uh, it shouldn't take too much to, to pick up on how to play this. Let me just open these and see what kind of stuff we're looking at here. Uh, these are pretty thick feel to them. Um, you know, it's, it's obviously thicker than like a standard card. Uh, they've got these icons, of course, at the bottom of these cards. Uh, and then all kinds of artwork shown to, you know, eventually create your masterpiece. Um, yeah, so there's there's a, a really unique scoring thing going on in addition to being able to add and customize your art. I feel like when I play this maybe uh, the first time or a couple times, I may not even care about the points. I'm just going to select cards based on, you know, what I want my image to look like because these are all really gorgeous and look at that, there's an example. So there's a guy, you know, running, and then you put this up there, and now it looks like he's running in the rain. And who knows what our backdrop's gonna be, because I think that's what these backdrop cards are gonna be. These are just your standard feel, um, you know, cards. So let's just pop this open real quick and uh, see a little bit about, you know, what the backdrop, what, what the backgrounds of these canvas pictures are going to be. So a lot of uh, very colorful pieces and the backs of these kind of have this the back of a canvas uh, look to them. It's all very well designed 
Um, very cool. Um, again, since I haven't read the rules yet, I don't know if you'll be able to exchange, you know, your card that you have or make multiple, you know, pieces of art. Um, I'm just not entirely sure. And it looks like these are various scoring methods. Um, okay. So yeah, those are, those are some of the cards here. And uh, I think at this point, we're going to probably go ahead and look through some of the uh, upgraded components, which from the looks of it through the bag, it's going to replace some of these cardboard pieces. All right. So up first, we've got the easels. And these, yep, these kind of stand up on their own here. Kind of like that. And you can display your art uh, either throughout the game or right at the end, whatever you want to do. Uh, these are basically the same pieces that I've seen in The Gallerist, if you've played uh, that game by Vidal Lacerda. Um, so sort of another use for these kind of easels. And, and again, the theme on this is really, really powerful. Um, and it's just beautiful to look at. I can tell that this is going to be really cool and it's going to hit hit with a lot of people. Um, and also the rule book says it's one to five. I think earlier I said two to five. So it does look like there's a solo mode in here um, if you want to play it completely solo. So that's always appreciated. We've got purple, red, uh, the gray, the blue, and the green. Plus, uh, plus the painter's. Uh, tokens here and all of this is wood that we're looking at yep and it's got screen printing on one side of these and it doesn't look like there's anything else but these ribbons um, so there's not even perhaps a way to keep track of victory points other than these ribbons um, so and based on what I'm seeing on this little um, mat I'm guessing as you score points, you just sort of toss your ribbons in there maybe and uh, get points um, and keep track of them there. But then again, hmm, there's only four colors. I wonder what about the fifth player's color? I don't know, this is speculation. And once I get a chance to play it, you know, I'll know more. And if you get a chance to play it, or if you're watching this in the future, once you've received your copy, you know, comment below and let us know what you think of the game. Um, because you probably played it before I have. <laughs> uh, these are also received from the um, kind of extra Kickstarter stuff. So we've got some solid, solid cards here. And it looks like some kind of scoring cards. They are different on the fronts and backs. It's just awards, just called award cards. Set up, choose or randomly select one award card, set it next to the canvas mat, return the remaining cards to the box. The blue paint sides are friendly scoring. The orange paint sides are competitive scoring and should not be used in solo play. Yeah, so just adds, adds another way to earn some points in the game. So that's always nice. But I think this part is what's gonna be more exciting. It adds more of these transparent cards that you'll get to use uh, when constructing your pieces of art. I don't know on the camera, it may not come through as easily with the image here, but they're very cool, uh, very creative. Um, it's got a lot of whimsy uh, feel to it. I mean, look at this, that's just like a, like a giant mouth eating the art, I don't know. Um, so I'm gonna include that with you know the rest of these. That's everything in the box. So, um, hey, I appreciate you guys tuning in for another unboxing video uh, on our Meeple Mentor channel. Uh, I do wanna do a quick shout out that the Gateway Network, which we're now a part of, uh, you should check out their website and check out their Instagram page because they are a network of smaller and upcoming board game content creators like myself. Um, you know, trying to help each other out by, you know, becoming part of a uh, network where we kind of shout each other out. Um, so definitely go check them out. There's some really cool guys, um, including the Gamecasters, who, of course, started the Gateway Network. Uh, they are a podcast that you can stream. And there, there are three people, Ryan, Natalie, and Jeff. They're very fun and funny to listen to. I really, 
appreciate you guys tuning in, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.